Welcome back. Now in this video we want to talk about PDFs and we want to talk about tutorial offers. Now you're looking at a Microsoft Word document that will eventually be transformed into a PDF. Now the physical act of putting a link in here and turning it into a PDF, this is something that you already know. But when you get to the end of the document, you're probably going to notice that there's probably going to be an ending statement. This is an opportunity for you to create some kind of call to action. And the call to action that you should actually be creating should be for the next available upsell, first of all. Second of all, it should be consistent with your theme. So even if you decide to add on to a statement here at the end of the document, it should have two basic principles. Again, tying to the theme and then encouraging people to take advantage of the next available upsell depending on where they're going to see this particular PDF document. The same thing is going to be true when you have the opportunity to use a bonus. And you're going to notice that they're going to be typically be a licensed document. There may be a something called free marketing tools. You want to remove those documents and you want to remake them. First of all, the free marketing tool should direct people back to an offer that you have on your domain. Sending people to affiliate links is a leak. This will send people out of your funnel and encourage them to think about things other than your offer. Your license should include your offers. It should include something that directs people deeper into your funnel. And that's even if what you're doing is you're taking a master resale rights or a resale rights or a PLR product and you're using the license, you want to make sure that that license has your URL in it and it directs people to the next available offer. Anything else is a leak out of your funnel. Now you're going to notice several different levels of documents here. Now you may not have time or you may not feel it to be worth your time to go through each and every one of these documents. This can be something that you outsource, but you want to make sure that in each and every document in the bonus that you're directing people to your links. People are going to open up different documents at different times. They're going to even send these documents in some cases to other people you want to make sure that people are going into your marketing funnel. You don't want to direct them to affiliate links in every case. Sometimes it'll make sense, but in most cases, it's going to make sense that you direct people to an offer that you have on your page, and the more consistent that you can make it with what they're talking about in this particular bonus or even the offer that's associated with, the more likely it is that you're going to make more sales. In some cases where you have the rights and you have the and you have the source files, you want to rebrand the graphics to direct people back to your sites and your offers. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.